In this video, I'm going to show you how to turn a regular doorbell into a smart doorbell using an Instian open close sensor, a read sensor, and a couple of wires. So this read sensor is needed to detect the magnetic field that's emitted by your magnetic coil inside your doorbell when the doorbell button is pressed. So to do this, we're going to have to trim the leads on this read sensor, and then we're going to connect wires to the read sensor using a PosiTap tap connector. So the tap connector is made of three parts. Uh, this side here, we're going to be putting a wire into. So you slide the wire into it, it centers the wire, and then on the right side here, you uh, thread into the wire, and that pin will actually stick in the wire, making a good solid connection. So we're going to slide the wire in. And like I said, it centers it up. Then you grab the tap connector, thread it on. This makes a real solid connection. Now if you wanted to, you could solder this, but I like using these because they're kind of an insulator and keeps the wires and the read sensor from touching uh, anything inside the doorbell that might short it out. So on this side of the tap connector, I'm going to be putting the read sensor. Uh, the right side there is a collar that sleeves over the lead of the sensor. So this lead sensor, I haven't trimmed the leads yet, but you need to slide it so the threads are pointing away from the read sensor. And then if you were going to trim it, which I already pre-trimmed one, but you want to leave a little bit of length past the threads there. That way, when you do thread it in, uh, you get a good connection. A short lead's not going to make a good connection. So I already had one made up. So again, we're going to take that, that collar, slide it over with the threaded side away from the reed sensor, and just thread them together. You want to be careful. The reed sensor is glass, and you could break it. So go ahead and give it a gentle tug just to make sure that it's in there nice and tight. And go ahead and repeat all those steps for the other side of the read sensor, and then we'll be ready to install it into the doorbell. So now that the harness is done, let's get this installed in the doorbell. So we'll start by opening it up. Now where the three screws are, the terminals, um, that's where the electromagnetic coil is. And to the right of that is where we'll be installing the reed sensor harness. You want to make sure that the reed sensor harness isn't too low or it's going to touch that bottom chime. Otherwise, the chime won't sound right. So we're going to put it just a little bit above that. First, we're going to have to uh, form the wires to get the fit proper. So you, you really want the reed sensor as close to the coil as possible. The nice thing about the tab connectors is that will prevent any wires or anything to uh, from shorting out on the, uh, the coil there. So that's a pretty good position right there. And I'm just using electrical tape to hold this in place. So we'll get that bottom one done up. Get the second piece of tape. And you're going to want to form the wires towards the top of the doorbell. So you just bend them, holding the right side of the tape there so you're not pulling your tape up. And then from this point, we just need to feed these wires through the slot on the doorbell cover. Now this could be tricky, but you know it just takes a moment to actually get the wires through. And then at that point, we'll wire it up to the Instian open close sensor. So with the sensor cover off, open up your uh, screw terminals for your wires and slide the wires in. Tighten down your terminals. 
And once you're done, snap the cover back on. There's a little slot next to the screw terminals where your wires will uh, fit nicely. Um, and then add some uh, double-sided sticky tape to secure it to your doorbell. Now, if you're like me, I already actually installed this on my wall, not on a bench. Um, then you're good to go. Go ahead and give it a test. So here's a quick look of mine on my wall. Well, it's pretty clean installed. It'd be nice if I could actually get the sensor installed on the inside of the box and maybe your doorbell's big enough to do that, but in my case it's not, so it sits on top. No one ever notices it, so I'm okay with that. So I'll add a link to both the read sensor and the door sensor um, in the description of this video, and I'll end the video by a demo of my doorbell and the notifications I get on my phone. Thanks for watching. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.